Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the line tool or editable spline tool, let's say. Uh, they, they both are the same thing. Uh, so let's start uh, creating a line. I'm going to go to create shapes uh, splines line. Uh, as I told you, line and edit spline, uh, they have the same uh, properties. So whatever you learn now, you can also add these properties or uh, use these properties on a uh, basic 3D shape as well, even in a text. I, I'm going to show that to you as well. But first, let's start with the line. I'm going to hit T uh, to go to the top view. And then just uh, as I grab the tool, I'm just going to click, 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 and just create a random shape like this. And whenever you right click, it will get out of the uh, command or it actually is still in the command, but it will end this um, uh, segment loop, let's say. And if I just right click again, then you can get out of the, uh, the tool as well. And if I just rotate my scene a little bit, hit P for the perspective window and just uh, rotate around this object. Uh, you can see that we have a 2D shape. It's not a uh, closed shape. So if I add an extrude on top of this, let's try that. It will only create a... Uh, an area like this. It's not a closed volume or anything. Uh, we can convert this to that, but we will talk about that in a later lesson. Uh, for now, you can see that we have this uh, shape and we can use this any way we want. We can add other uh, modifiers on top of this as well, of course. Okay. And whenever you want to change the shape, you don't need to delete and re-add the extrude. You can just go back to line, hit uh, one, two, or three. Uh, as I told you in the previous lesson, these are the shortcuts for vertex segment and spline modes if i just i can also click from here and if i just click on this i'm going to go uh, be able to select these vertices hit w and move them around and if you sh uh, click on this uh, show end result you can even see the end result uh, of this modifier stack this is called a modifier stack by the way and if i just move this around you can uh, preview the end result as you do the editing this is very cool Okay, uh, let's uh, delete this and just create. By the way, uh, while you try to delete this, if you are in the vertex mode and as this vertex is self selected, if you hit delete, it will only delete that vertex. Be careful about this. You need to get out of the sub object mode. Just click once more uh, on the line. And then if you hit delete, it will delete the object. Okay, if you are in a sub object mode like vertex spline or uh, segment, uh, then you will only delete what is selected or if nothing selected then uh, it won't still del won't delete the object you need to get out of the uh, sub object mode and then hit delete to get rid of the object okay so let's create uh, a closed line this time i'm just going to click 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 and again if i go ahead and click on the start vertex in here it will ask uh, it will ask us if you want to uh, close the spline uh, if I hit yes, then it will create a closed spline. And now if I add an extrude, you will see that uh, now we have a closed volume. Okay. Uh, you can do all the same things. You can go back to line, uh, click on show end result, select the vertex mode and just play with these vertices. As you can see, it, it will, uh, will update uh, the preview um, as you make the changes. This is very cool. Uh, and also you can just select the segments. For example, if I hit two, you can play with the segments as well. Uh, whichever sub object mode you want, you can play with it. Okay. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, I will disable the um, show end result for this. If I hit three, go to the spline mode and select the spline. And as you can see, what spline is, is that uh, it's all of this uh, loop in here. And if Let's try a, some of these command uh, tools. I'm going to show all of these to you in the later lessons, but for now, let's just uh, warm up to these. If you increase this outline uh, value, for example, it will create a, an outline, as you can see. And if you add extrude now, you can create a wall-like shape like this. And uh, you can do whatever you want with these uh, tools. Uh, we will go over them uh, in the later lessons. Don't worry about them. I'm going to hit T again to go to the top view. And now I want to create a wall, a real uh, wall, for example. 
Uh, I'm not going to worry about the dimensions right now, but in this uh, video, in the next example, I, I will show you how to draw a wall uh, with dimensions. For now, let's just try to stick with the shape. Uh, I'm going to go to create shapes line again, and I'm going to try to create an L-shaped room, for example. I'm going to just start uh, anywhere. Uh, you know that we should start from the origin, but for now, let's just start anywhere. And if you hold shift, uh, it will help you uh, draw straight lines like this. And I can just create an L shape shaped spline. And I'm going to close the spline, of course. Uh, the problem with this is this line in here is not a straight line, as you can see, because uh, I didn't have a snap for this uh, vertex in here. Uh, I can't, I, I wasn't sure if I was putting it in the same uh, horizontal um, or it was horizontally aligned with this vertex in here. So to fix this for now, in the next example, I will show you an easier way. But for now, you can hit one to go to the vertex mode. Select this vertex in here, uh, this vertex rather. And I can just copy the Y value with control C from here and just paste it in here and then you can see that they have the same y value and they are aligned horizontally okay uh, and you need to be in the move tool by the way to do this so uh, be careful about that as well and now if i hit three to go to the uh, spline mode and select the spline i can just type in a value in here for the outline value let's just type in 10 for example and you can see that we have a 10 centimeter thickness in here uh, I'm going to show you how to change the units as well. If you are using inches, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, do that as well in a minute. Just uh, be patient. And then I'm go going to just get out of the spline mode. And then let's add an extrude on top of this. Okay. And we have a wall-like uh, shape that you can use as a wall in a 3D render. render. Of course, this is not... Um, the dimensions of this is, are not uh, quite realistic because this uh, height of the wall right now is uh, one meter and it's not, uh, of, the, uh, of course, uh, suitable for a room. We should have two and a half meters or three meters at least of height. So let's delete this and try a, uh, another wall with real dimensions. Now I'm going to use some helpful tools for this. Uh, first one is snap. We have learned about this. Uh, the shortcut for this was S, as you can remember. Uh, and you can just click over here and uh, activate the snaps. But the problem with this is, uh, it uh, by default, it, it has only vertex snap activated. We need grid points for uh, this example. So I'm going to right click on top of this and act, uh, open up the grid snaps. And let's disable the vertex and enable the grid points for this. And you can see that we can snap to the corner points of the grid. Okay. One more thing I want to uh, talk about is the uh, spacing in between these grids, grid corners at least. Let's go to the home grid uh, tab. It's uh, in here as well. And you can see that the grid spacing uh, for this uh, grid in here is 10 centimeters. And this is a good value for me because uh, we can uh, easily calculate uh, a meter or whatever uh, dimension we want to use. But I also want to show you how to change these units from centimeters to inches or feet uh, or whatever uh, units you are using. Let's uh, get, get uh, close that one and go to customize unit setup. And in here you can see that we have a display unit scale and system unit setup. And under uh, here you can change this to anything you want. You can change this to a US standard or a metric value and you can choose different units from here. But uh, be careful about this. If you change these uh, units from here, I recommend you to go to system unit and do the same change from here as well. Okay. Uh, here we have inches, feet, miles, millimeters, and everything uh, you want to use. Okay. Uh, let's leave it in centimeters for this example. Hit OK. And then I want to just grab the line tool again, start from the origin this time. And now we are confident uh, about the dimensions because as you go right, you can see down here that we have a value, um, actually an exact value, like five meters at this point, for example. I want to create a 10 meter uh, row, uh, wall uh, for this side. So I'm going to just go to thousand uh, centimeters. Just click once, go up five meters 
this uh, side. Uh, this time I'm reading the Y value. And let's click here. Go to left. Again, 500 centimeters. Upwards, 1000 centimeters. And I'm going to click again in here. And then I can just close this uh, like this. Okay. Uh, right now we have uh, exact dimensions for this uh, wall. Okay. I'm going to hit three, select the spline, and type in 20 centimeters for the outline. As you can see, it's uh, outlined the spline inwards. Uh, I can understand that because this corner was in the origin. And if you want to make this outwards, if these are the interior room dimensions, then you can hit Ctrl Z for this, undo this, and just type in minus 20 in here. Okay. Uh, as you can see, minus will uh, offset or outline. Actually, in all of other 3D tool, uh, tools, this command is called offset. So uh, by mistake, I can call it offset sometimes. But you can outline it outwards uh, with a minus sign. Okay. It's not always inwards, outwards, respectively, uh, plus and minus. But it's about the direction you draw the line, actually. Okay. But whatever, it's a technical thing. So. Uh, you can just try it and if it doesn't work you can undo and just put a minus sign uh, before the uh, dimension. Now I want to just add an extrude on top of this and let's set the height to 300 meters and you can see that we have a room with real dimensions and you can use this uh, as a wall in your interior render or exterior render whatever you want to use this for. Okay. Uh, I also want to put a floor in here so let's select this, hit Ctrl V. This, this is a shortcut for clone. As you can see, it will uh, copy the object in place or on top of the original one. Uh, but uh, don't please don't select instance uh, mode. I recommend you to select the copy mode because we are going to change some things in here. So I'm going to just hit OK. Right now we have two lines. Uh, you can see that the new one is called line 2. Let's call it floor. You can change the name from here and go to Tools, Scene Explorer to see a clearer picture because they're on top of each other. We can't really see what's going on. So you, you can see that we have a line one and a floor. Uh, I also want to change the line one name to wall. So you can uh, now easily select uh, whichever one you want. OK, and let's select the uh, floor, delete the extrude. You don't need to delete it really, but uh, I'm deleting it uh, to make it a little bit more obvious for you. And you can isolate this selection as well. Uh, I want to hide these walls to be able to see the bottom uh, lines in here. Uh, you can just select the walls, right click, hide. Or you can just select the floor and hit the isolate button in here. It's The shortcut for this is Alt-Q. I usually use the shortcut, so I'm going to use it again. Uh, I'll hit Alt-Q and hit 3 for the spline mode and then delete the outer spline from here. If you do that, you will if I right click and click on and isolate or you can just click on this button again uh, you can see that we only have the in, inner uh, lines in here we deleted the outer lines and if I hit uh, uh, or add an extrude on top of this and just drop the value to zero or one centimeters uh, I recommend you to keep the floor at uh, zero so let's just type in zero for this uh, or even you can just type in minus 20 for example it will go below the um, floor but uh, it won't have uh, any faces on top of each other this could be a little bit better uh, this way but whatever whichever way you want is okay by the way and now we have a floor uh, for this interior uh, room as well okay all right as you can see this was a warm-up uh, i haven't really shown you uh, any technical stuff but these uh, this is a general way of thinking i use uh, as i want to draw uh, lines with uh, some dimensions okay uh, we can use a lot of different uh, methods as well in 3ds max you need to really be creative to create uh, objects with the real dimensions um, so we will talk about those in later lessons Okay, thanks for listening. If you find this useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, thanks again. See you in the next lesson.